Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I know we kind of went back and forth on this, but we didn't actually have the case, but now we officially do. So that's why we're able to do it. We're going to be able to do this today. So 2020 Bowman Jumbo, eight box, random team number four. Apologies to those who I said it was going tomorrow, but it's now happening today. 2020 Bowman Jumbo, eight box, random team break number four, a 28 spot uh, random team case break. We combo these two teams right there. No paper-based ships at all unless they are Jason Dominguez, Bobby Witt Jr., and also Robert Passon of the A's as well. And obviously everything else does. What do we do with our paper base? We sell them. And then we donate 100% of the sale to charity. A lot, a lot of times it's an after-school program here in L.A. called uh, L.A.'s Best. That's one of the uh, places where we go. A couple other ones we rotate around as well. So very big thank you to all of these folks not only supporting a good cause, but joining to the break, hopefully get you some monster hits. There are the combos right there. Diamondbacks, Pirates, Rockies, Twins. Let's roll it. Let's randomize each list. Six and a four, ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. Six and a four, ten times. There you go. Ten times right there. We've got Mitch on the pole, and we've got Aaron in the 28th spot, Aaron F. Six and a four, ten times for the teams, plus the combos. Two. And tenth and final time. After ten times, we've got the Tampa Bay Rays all the way down to the Rockies-Twins combo. Now, before I read off all these, I think I have, do I have a, yes, here is the checklist by team, so you can double check to see who you have. All right, Mitch, you have the Tampa Bay Rays, Chris with the Mariners, Daniel with the Cardinals, Jason with the Marlins, Mike, I don't know if it might just be a regular Mike, with the Brewers, Matthew Shearer with the Astros, Angels, Jeff, last spot, Mojo, star next to your name with the Phillies. Peter with the Giants, Greg with the White Sox, Matthew with the Mets, Jason O with the Orioles, Joseph, you got my Dodgers, David with the Royals, Peter with the Padres, Paul with the Rangers. Um, Peter, Paul, I wish the next person was like Mary Lou, then it would be Peter, Paul, and Mary. But Jake with the Cubs, Daniel with the Indians, Nicholas with the Tigers, Matthew D with the Braves, Matthew S with the Reds, Nicholas L with the Nats. Greg with the Yankees, nice. Robert with the Red Sox, Blue Jays for David. Michael with the Diamondbacks, Pirates combo. Alexander with the A's. Aaron with the Rockies and Twins. And who had the Royals right here? David Strauss had the Royals. Nice. There you go. Those are the three uh, bigger teams there. A's, Royals, Yankees. Can we get all this? Maybe 90%? No, not 90%. It's 85%. All right. Let's sort by column B. Let's sort by team. All right, I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break itself. Stick around. BRB. All right, welcome back, everybody. we got Nick Jaspi right here helping us out, and he's going to unbox the Jumbo right here. This is Jumbo Random Team number four. Um, we've got two hobby cases that we can do today as well, just so, just so long as we fill that one Jumbo pack break on there. And we've got two other hobby cases, which we'll be breaking tomorrow, on a separate channel, on our old eBay channel, actually. So stay tuned for that, just so we can do Bowman on one side while we do all the new release, or the one new release tomorrow, which would be a, uh, a Panini release. All right. So that way, the people who don't, who are, who are bored of the Bowman, I like it just because there's tons of value in here, but I understand it's not for everybody. We're going to slide that over to a second channel on our alternative channel, alternate channel, and then we can still have all the usual new release stuff on the main channel. <coughs> Excuse me. Throat's drying out a little bit. Just before we started the video, we were talking about once we, once post COVID, we can start opening things back up. We'd love for everybody to visit us here. 
in Hermosa Beach, California. But yeah, um, everyone should visit. We're close to LAX. Uh, it's especially great. I'll bet things will be somewhat back to normal by the by this fall, winter, early 2021 as well. It'll be even probably even more back to normal. So especially if you're on in colder climate areas, it's perfect to visit Southern California here. Close to the airport, um, tons of hotels. So I'm sure you can find a hotel that matches whatever your budget is. Low or high. Come and hang out with us. You could probably do a nice weekend trip here. You can probably get, you can probably spend a solid, you can spend as long as you want here, but you can probably spend a good afternoon here. A few hours here, maybe more if you want to. And then find other things to do around, around the neighborhood. There's Luis Garcia to 125. Chris Pettit likes going to Manhattan Beach. People were nice. They stopped their cars prior to you getting into the uh, crosswalk. Yeah, that's not a thing in like New York, right? New York, they just, you don't want to step into a crosswalk. Yeah. Probably dead times. Although they purposely don't have parking net. <laughs> to Alzheimer's. Altuve, 4.99 paper. So they won't have public parking. Other than that. Wait, what, who's trying to do? Well, Manhattan Beach, they don't have public parking. Oh, right, 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 yeah. They're saying outsiders get out. Yeah, we don't want we don't want those dirty people from Santa Monica coming down here. Yeah. We don't want those Redondo Beach riffraff going up to <laughs> Manhattan no, Beach. they want it in Redondo. 322 out of 499. Yesel de la Cruz. And that'll be for the Braves. That'll go to Matthew D. There's our first Jason Dominguez paper for the Yankees. Greg with that one. And Brennan Davis is our next autograph. Remember, there's a few per box in the jumbos. This goes to Jake. Jake W. and the Chicago Cubs got randomized. The Cubs here in jumbo random four. Apologies for for saying it was yesterday, today. We're just waiting on the case. We finally got it. And we're good to go. I think shipping, which is going to be crazy for you guys as well, has also started to get crazy for us. Usually we get 100% of our cases like on time, but over the last few weeks, more and more often it's been like, oh, we didn't, we don't have that extra case. We don't know what could have been inside, so. It'll be a little touch and go sometimes, ladies and gentlemen. Nice, Ryan Shack, the Shackleton clan is gonna come out here. You've only driven California a lot of times, but only driven through Hermosa Beach. I don't. I didn't, and I don't. I usually keep them for like a few weeks before I delete them, or like a month. I never heard back from Jason. I was trying to upload it. What was it? It, was, it wasn't a Bowman break. Oh, okay. Jason Bryan with the Marlins. Yeah, I'll show you where it is after this break. Someone doesn't believe our results? <laughs> they don't trust us? They're like, are you sure? 
Are you sure it was that person that was supposed to be? In? Oh, maybe there was a Dominguez in the factory. Ooh, like this purple chrome Dominguez. No auto, but to 250, Greg. Any idea what this goes for? No, Top can't. of your head? Someone look this up. A few hundred bucks, I think. Purple chrome, non-auto, Jason Dominguez. Someone look that up. But yeah, Ryan Shackleton, once, once things are popping back open, and, and everybody else, come visit us. Like I said, we're close to the airport, a lot of hotels in the area. And if you want to bring the, you know, if you're married and you have kids or stuff like that, a lot of stuff for families to do out here too. You know, if you're a single man or woman, you got lots of things to do out here as well. A lot of fun bars and, and it's LA. A lot, of, a lot of things to do in LA. So come and hang out. Something for everybody. And there's Robert Pawson again, paper. I don't think we've seen any Bobby Wood Juniors as of yet. Every cooking show I watch, they ha everyone has trouble with the ice cream machine. It always seems to be a thing. And everyone tries to bake stuff during a timed competition show, and that, that never is a good idea. Things don't bake as fast as you, as you want it to. It's Kiebert Ruiz to 150, blue paper. We're watching Chopped in the background, by the way. That's what's on. Dodgers, Joseph Fest. Looks like, what, three to three to $400 for that purple chrome Jason Dominguez. Nas was saying 400. Corbett saying that a more recent sale was 315. I said 3400. There you go. You nailed it. Where, where, should, where should I go? Where are you stacking? It doesn't just matter. Random. Just, just random. They're all random. These these are all re represent half jumbo boxes, right? No. No. So it's just all random. Okay. It's all random. Well, there'll be a recap at the end, folks. We'll figure it out. Getting a little taller, I put it on the other side. All right. Well, we'll do an autograph recap at the end, ladies and gentlemen. There's three per box, eight per case, so you should count 24 autos by the end of the break. Um, yeah, let's, let's start with this. And Mixer sold out too. Nice. Wow, Shackleton's brother cha trains NBA players in the summer, so you've been out here many times. Oh, we're, we're right near the. Right near the. Uh, Lakers practice facility. So if he does any work there, that's an El Segundo. So we're, and that's a nice facility too. And we're, we're nearby, you know, you can kill, kill some birds with, with some stones. Yeah, I don't like that facility. You don't like that facility? Yeah, I was trying to see the Kobe mural like a few days after and I couldn't find it. What do you mean? It was inside the facility? Oh, they put it Where inside? You drive inside the gate? gate? Yeah. No. You just walk right in. No. There was like security and stuff. You say you're going to look at the Kobe stuff. Well, they said no. Oh, they told you no? Oh. I guess they just don't let anybody wander into the LA Lakers practice facility. Just hang out with, work out with LeBron. See the gym in there? It's pretty nice. Another Robert Possum paper going to Alexander W. I always thought a freeway like overlooked that. It's like supposed to be like the best freeway in LA because there's just hardly any people on it. The 105? No, it's like the Marina Freeway or something. Oh yeah, that one that just runs north and south, right? Like, like, and it runs right under the freeway. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's actually kind of under a little underrated spot there. There's Bryce Ball. You know what it is? I think it passes the Clippers. So. Oh, I see. I don't I forget where they practice. But. Bryce Hall. That's another Braves autograph from Matthew D. Chrome Jason Dominguez spanning the globe. All those add up. 
Although for for Greg and the Yankees, this was a random team break. Every other Jason Dominguez you get is just pure profit now. So coming up after this, ladies and gentlemen, I think is Mosaic. We'll go through more orders, but I'm almost certain that it's Mosaic Basketball after this, and then it looks like the Basketball Mixer after that. So a couple hoops breaks in a row. To 4.99, Luis Gill, paper, Yankees. Yeah, I posted the fat pack. Chase them. Mm, yeah, Bape. There's Jason Bape. Dominguez, paper. I think each of those papers are still going for like 30, 40 bucks. Maybe more, maybe more if graded on a secondary market. Well, there's probably more of them on there, so the prices may not be as wild, but. Oh, nice. Your brother is with Villanova as the full-time head strength and conditioning. And with Kyle Lowry, huh? Nice. Um, the boss man is a, he's a big Villanova guy, right? The boss man here is a big Villanova guy, Nick's dad. Chrome Jason Dominguez now. All right, I'll, I'll have to check that out, Ryan. Maybe, maybe we can we can figure out a way to reach out or get in touch with those players as agents, so we can maybe have a in-store signing here. There's uh, Hans Kraus to 150, going to the Rangers. That's for Paul. Let me get a get one of the get one of those NBA players to come down here and do some. Oh! Jason Dominguez base autograph. That's for Greg. This is random team four, jumbo edition, ladies and gentlemen. He got randomized the Yankees. Ends up with what? Are these base autos. A couple thousand dollars, maybe? If you grade it, maybe more? The Martian. Pretty nice stuff for Greg and the Yankees. Everything in here is so well executed. The seasoning and flavor and those nut greens, what you did to them, it gives them that like. Here's our first Bobby Wood Jr. paper. And he's quality to it, so it's really, really lovely. Thank you very much, Jeff. Fifteen to two. There you go. Raw is still about 17, so yeah, so anywhere from... At worst, a grand. At best, a couple thousand. You get it graded, it grades out nicely. Who knows, a lot more than that. There's Jordan Yamamoto, rookie auto for the Marlins. That'll be for Jason Bryan, the crafty right-hander. Darren saying last sale, most recent sale, eighteen twenty-five. Wow. Yeah, so that's a that's a decent range. I'll take that. Probably worth getting it graded at this point. And another Yankee, Anthony Velo, 438 out of 499 refractor autograph for the Yankees. That'll be for Greg. Once again, nice break for the Yankees and Greg. I want this. I've worked my whole life for this. 
Nas 101014 saying sky is the limit for JD, Jason Dominguez. I mean, how soon is he going to get... I guess we'll have to see how he plays, you know, in the minors. But how soon is he projected to come up? I mean, they called up Juan Soto pretty early. He looks like he's going to be pretty good. Still really young, so I guess, you know, they're... If he just develops and progresses at the at a relatively normal rate. There's Esteban Floriel, paper to two fifty, purple paper for the Yankees. We got Colton Welker, blue chrome to 150. That's for the Rockies, Colton Welker. That's the combo Aaron with the Rockies twins combination. Cambio. Cambio? Or does that change? Combo? All right, next little stack right here. Wow, Ryan Shackleton calling another Dominguez auto. We still have a lot of boxes up there left, so it's possible that that Dominguez auto did pop early. We got Cole Wynn, yellow paper to 75, Paul with the Rangers. Bobby Witt Jr. Chrome. We got Whit Merrifield, sky blue paper to 499. Some more Royals for David Strauss. All of those Whit Juniors and whatnot, all of those add up. And we got Jacob Amaya. Speckle Auto, 135 to 299. That'll be for Joseph Fest and my Dodgers. There you go. You know, I don't know how Witt did in 2019 last year. Yeah, I mean... Not horrible. I think he's he's he he got drafted out of high school, right? Got drafted out of high school. So he's got he needs he'll probably need some time to develop. I mean, Gavin Gavin Lux was a uh, was a first round pick for the Dodgers, and his first year wasn't very good either. A lot of people said he had stone hands. 
You know, he wasn't hitting very well, which was the one thing he was should be able to do, and was just poor at single A. Rookie ball, and then advanced A and single A and everything. But I think in, in A ball, he, he started to heat up a little bit. And then by the time he got to Tulsa with the double A team, dude was raking. So... It could be it could be a Lux esque performance. No, I don't think I don't think Witt Jr. was in he was probably in A last year. And he was the second overall pick, not the second not a second round pick. I think double A is really, really where you want to see him, see him make the biggest leap, and then shine the most, and then triple A just becomes a formality. All right, we got Aaron Shortridge, Pirates autograph for it's a combo team. Michael Lyons with the Diamondbacks Pirates combo. And Blake Rutherford to 125. Blake Rutherford will go to the White Sox. That'll be for Greg, Greg B. And more Robert Possons for the A's. That'll be for Alexander. And then more Jason Dominguez. But yeah, no, I, I mean, I, I, th I think Jason Dominguez de definitely may be more of an offensive, offensive threat. But I think Bobby Wood Jr. is not going to be a slouch either. Now, I was saying, who knows? Which unit can be lethal? Can be a lethal shortstop. But in today's MLB shortstop, there's so, so many, what, monsters that are playing? Yeah, I mean, you can say that about... You can say that about outfielders, too, right? Jason Dominguez. Outfield's a pretty deep position. I feel like if you get a shortstop who can hit... That's still not as common as an outfielder who can hit. Here's Jason Dominguez, Bowman Scouts, top 100, number 53. And we've got uh, Diosbel Arias to 299. Speckle autograph for the Rangers. That'll be for Paul Sarno. I think with all these prospects, too, especially someone like Jason Dominguez, you want to be able to see, you know, the, the, the latest generation or two of the players these days have a lot more positional flexibility. You know, Cody Ballinger came up as a, as a first baseman. But last year spent a majority of his time in the outfield. 
So I don't know what kind of positional flexibility that Jason Dominguez has, but I mean that that would make him even more valuable if he can move around a little bit. There's Luis Garcia to 299. He's he's still a little. You know, there, there's still a little uh, that teenage baby fat that he can shed too. So. There's Quinn Cotton for the Reds. Matthew Shira. Yeah, well, definitely Jason Dominguez checks a lot of the hype boxes, right? Big international prospect, big hitter, major media market team, major market team. It's Matthew Shearer and the Reds once again. You know, has a cool nickname, The Martian. So there's a lot of hype, a lot of, a lot of marketability. But for people outside of New York, I think you kind of have to kind of have to take that with a grain of salt because we've seen uh, we've seen Yankees prospects get a ton of hype before. Maybe overhype to some extent. So got to tread those waters a little carefully. So that's that's the blessing and the curse of that major market, you know, that huge media market. Obviously, if if Dominguez hits, you know, just ends up being a stud, then yeah, then that hype is that and then some. It's more Bobby Witt Jr. But that guy's got to make it and make it in a tough New York market, you know, which is another challenge for young players. Aaron Judge's success is more is also about him being able to navigate New York media too. There's a Brennan Davis purple chrome autographed 250 going to the Cubbies. Jake Jake W with that. So we get that focus right there. Another autograph that's an atomic auto to 100. That's Adam Hill. 96 out of uh, 100. Brew Crew, that'll be for Mike. Bobby Witt Jr. Chrome. All of these add up for the Royals. That'll be for David Strauss. Atomic Kyle Muller to 150 for the Braves. That'll be for Matthew, Matthew D. Andy's kid. No, Andy's nephew, I think. Brew crew. That'll be for Mike. 
It says on the back. Let's look. Some of you may remember Andy Ashby. There you go. Uncle. So his dad must have been Alan Ashby. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So apologies to Alan. That was a cheap shot. Jason Dominguez, Chrome. There you go. There you go, Andy. That's the kind of research I want to see here in the chat. We were talking about positional flexibility for Jason Dominguez. Andy, the nerd in the chat, saying another crazy thing about Dominguez, apparently according to fan graphs, is that he could possibly play second. Yeah, that, that'd be like, yeah, Andy's got speed. Are we talking, yeah, are we talking Alfonso Soriano? There's Cabrian Hayes to one uh, to 499 refractor. Alfonso Soriano, probably the last person that was closest to a 50-50 season. So if they're if if they want to let Dominguez run a little bit, he can shed a little baby fat too. But if they let him run a little bit, if he's got good base running instincts, he's got a good eye. I mean, he hits 50-50. Imagine the, imagine the hype on Dominguez cards in the hobby. This stuff right here, all of his first stuff. Imagine how, how much this stuff would skyrocket. I feel like if, if a 50-50 season were to happen, which is tough in this era of baseball because you don't let people steal. Most teams don't like stealing anymore, but. But if they let him run, I would imagine if he, his best shot at 50-50 would probably be earlier in his career. You know, maybe they'll let, maybe they'd be more willing to let him run more earlier in his career. There's Jesus Lazardo, Rookie of the Year favorites to 50. May have to hit a little, maybe a little bit higher up in the lineup to get more ABs for those stolen bases. But switch hitter, right? Yeah, he's a, Jason Dominguez is a switch hitter too. So if he's decent on both sides, or if he's decent on his weak side, then he's not, he's not like he's coming out of the lineup. At least not for offensive purposes. Here's Zach Collins to 150 blue paper. I just got myself overhyped thinking about Jason Dominguez having a 50 50 season. Although they, they yet. They let Yelich run, although maybe after some injuries this year, they, they may not yet let Yelich run again. Probably Yelich might have been the best candidate for a 50-50 season. They would never let Trout run anymore these days, but but I'll bet if they, if they let him, I think Trout could get 50-50. Yeah, that's it, right? The 40-40 list is pretty small. Conseco, Bonds, A-Rod. Matt Kemp got close in that year he was robbed of the MVP by Ryan Braun. But I think, was he a homer short or a stolen base short? Something like that. Matt Kemp was pretty close. Here's Debbie Garcia. Davey Garcia to 299. Speckle. More for the Yankees, more for Greg. Yeah, 
I do agree with uh, Jeffrey. I think the toss is nice. There's so Edward Alzale to 499. Got it right, but I would have liked to have seen maybe the noodles actually cooked more. And I'm great. I love the noodles. Make me think of corn silk and the avocado cocktail. Homer short, that's what it was. He was a home run short. All right, we got Sam Huff for the Rangers. There you go. Paul Sarno with his, I think, second Rangers autograph. Yeah, he sure did, Will Christian. If they let him run, they, and they never would, but if they let him run. Ooh, we got Daniel Espino. Bowman Baseball Factory autograph. Is, is he a national? Indians. Under Armour All America autograph. Bowman Baseball Factory autograph. The Tribe Daniel Patera with the Daniel Espino. Ooh, that looks good. Uh, right after this, Daniel Smith. I'm fairly certain that Mosaic filled after this break, and then I think probably basketball mixer after that. Nah, I said because he was because he was dating Rihanna. He lost the MVP because of... All right, so there's no more right here. Everything's on this table right here. He missed a 44 season because of Rihanna? It's unfair to Rihanna. I mean, 39 home runs. And 40 stolen base is still pretty good. There's Micah Bello. So without Rihanna distracting him, he would have he would have had a 50-50 season. Yeah, I think it's more Ryan Braun using PEDs that season. Remember he threw he threw like the FedEx driver under the bus too, got him fired. Mike with the Brew Crew. Or UPS driver, I forget who it was. Ooh, all new Deadliest Catch tonight on Discovery. Are we watching Deadliest Catch tonight? Brady McCall. Brady McCall, I'm always getting confused with the Bobby Wood Jr. card. What does Rory think of Ryan Braun? I mean, I don't, I don't think he has like 
I don't think he has uh, Ryan Braun posters lining his walls. I suppose he apologized. Did he get the driver's job back? I don't know. That I don't know. We got Vidal Bruhan to 150. Chrome autograph for the Rays. Mitch with Tampa Bay. More Dominguez paper. Yeah, it's kind of tough when, when, when he's your guy. Who was a. Eric Gagne was a big Dodger name that set records and was pop for PEDs. I suppose it's all how how you handle it afterwards. Um, I think Eric Gagne has done a, done a lot of work with and he's done a lot of stuff for his path to sort of redemption, I guess. A lot of charity work, a lot of stuff with kids, and blah, 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 blah. I don't know what Ryan Braun has done. Maybe he's done a lot of things. You know, I don't know. But I think that softens the blow for, like, fans, I think. I don't know, Eric Gagne was, wasn't really ever my favorite player, so I don't think that was too... Uh, no, no 2020 Diamond Kings at the moment. I don't even, when, when does that release? Is that this week, next week? There's Forrest Whitley for the Astros to 499. June. Oh, okay. So if it's June, then then no, we don't have any di 2020 Diamond Kings. But I'm sure we will. We get one, at least one case of almost every single product ever, every single product made. Sports-wise, major for the, the four major sports. So yeah, Diamond Kings is certainly more of a major release. So we definitely have that. All right, there's Adam Hall to four ninety-nine. Orioles auto for Jason O. Oh, Jason O with those. Oh, so what up, Sam Stray? Oh, we got Truck Series at 8 o'clock. I, uh, I guess we still have a little ways to go on this break. I watched two movies that I haven't watched that everyone I'm sure has watched already. I saw, speaking of racing, Ford versus Ferrari finally, which was... A terrible movie. Why was it terrible? Because it made me want to go buy 1960s vintage cars. <laughs> so damn that movie. Damn that movie. It was really good. <laughs> I thought the acting was fantastic. The, the pacing was pretty incredible. You know, I think it was more compelling than than Ron Howard's Rush, if anyone saw that. It's kind of a similar-ish movie. Um, I guess maybe not that similar, but in a broad sense. Um, but I thought it was I thought it was quite good. What was it Best Picture? I don't know. That I don't know, but I personally don't think so, but it's up there. I enjoyed it quite a lot. I enjoy, can't say that I'm a car guy per se, but 
you do enjoy auto racing and and driving. It's Bryce Turing, so definitely got a big kick out of all the fun stuff there. But then I started looking up like Shelby Cobras and GT40s. No, GT4s I knew were expensive, but all the other stuff that I'm just like, oh. You know, and then I'm just like, yo, yeah, this is expensive. I can't afford these cars. <laughs> Here's Josiah Gray to 125. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll have to stick with a a late 60s, early 70s Corvette Stingray or something like that. I think I could eventually find some money for that someday. Uh, in hobby, Mr. Milo, we're doing Jumbo 4. This is Jumbo Random Team 4 right now. Jumbo has three autographs per box. And the hobby cases that we're doing, uh, I guess we can do a couple tonight, and the hobby cases that are also available for tomorrow, one auto per box, plus the exclusive orange parallels in the hobby. We got Jacob Amaya, Dodger autograph for Joseph. I don't know if anybody saw Ford versus Ferrari, but I thought that was that was quite a good movie. Really entertaining, a lot of fun. Good job by Matt Damon and Christian Bale. There is a I don't think this is a spoiler, but there's a little bit of a uh, a scuffle that both of those actors get into in the movie. There's Jan Diaz to 75, yellow chrome for the Rays. That'll be for Mitch, and I was just like, hey, that's. It's Jason Bourne and Batman fighting. It's pretty good. All right, Bobby Witt Jr. Chrome for the Royals. David Strauss. I also saw uh, Uncut Gems. Gems? Gem? Plural? Singular? Saw that movie. It was also, it was also really good. A very frantic kind of movie. So it was somewhat, it was a little, it was very gripping, but also a little exhausting to watch, but just entertaining from start from start to finish. His KG did a pretty good job being KG in the movie. I thought he was pretty good. Adam Sandler, what great great performance by Adam Sandler. All right, there's Reese Hines to four ninety nine. It's on Netflix. Uncut gem gems. Matthew Shear and the Reds. Nolan Gorman to 499. There's Ian Anderson to 50. Jason Dominguez is spanning the globe. Greg with the Yankees. He's having a great break. Ian Anderson, Matthew D. with the Braves. It's a nice one, too. And Nolan Gorman. Also an up-and-coming prospect for the Cardinals. That'll be for Daniel Cohen. Is 
popped. Food network, pretty intense. These guys aren't gonna make it. Oh, no sauce on the plate. She was telling you to speed it up, but you gave her sass. She's going to get chopped. Uh, no, this is random team four. Mr. Samich. Pick your team seven went off yesterday. So that video should be up. Seven sold before six. So I think six and eight, Hobby six and eight are still on the site with a jumbo pack to go to fill up uh, Hobby seven or Hobby six and eight. This is jumbo four, random teams. And then Hobby nine and 10 are uh, tomorrow. But I don't think those are even sold out yet, but yeah, six and eight we can do tonight if that that one jumbo pack fills to fill up the uh, Tigers, I think, were the remaining teams in those two breaks. And we can do those two hobbies tonight if people want to. No worries, Samo. Uh, there's Travis Swaggerty to 499 Oh, you got the Yankees in. We, we got to fill that jumbo pack. No one wants to do that jumbo pack, Samo. 21 spots left in that for a chance to win the Tigers and then unlock hobby, full case hobby six and eight. And Nick Jaspi is here too, so we'll, ha we'll have his help. So it's not like those hobby cases are gonna gobble up a lot of time. Furthermore, I think everyone's uh, kind of sitting on their wallets for, uh, everyone seems to be sitting on their wallets for uh, the big new release tomorrow, the Noir Basketball. So tonight would be a good night to get that that hobby out of the way. Hobby 9 and 10, which are on the site, those are going to go off tomorrow on a separate channel just so we don't interrupt any of that noir action. So if you were worried about that, you don't have to be. Noir will not be interrupted on this side tomorrow. All right, Bill, what's going on? All right, almost there. Just this little stack and that little stack right here, and then we are donezos, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll do a, do a little recap, too. Once again, as I said in the top of the break, apologies for a little bit of the inconsistency on when this was going to go. Originally, we didn't think we were going to get these cases today then we got the cases delivered today we thought we can do it today then we didn't think we could do it today and now we're we we're able to do it today so i appreciate everybody's understanding on that all right connor cannon kaboom that goes to Peter Maloney and the Giants. Another Jason Dominguez, Bowman Scouts. I don't know how rare those are. I think pretty rare because that's only the second one I've seen. Ever. Vlad Guerrero Jr. paper. I don't know if the I don't know if Nick or Jason ended up seeing any of those. But I saw one that was a Bobby Witt Jr. many many cases ago. And then since then, this was the first tonight I forget who that player was again, but I think that was the first one I've seen since then. I think they're a little more. We're talking about the that Under Armour autograph, right? That we saw that, that paper Under Armour autograph. The national team ones. I think those are. 
Those are a lot more rare than one per case. It right, looks like we're going to end with a parallel, and it's going to be, and an autograph, Zach Hess, 50 out of 50, gold shimmer autograph. Tigers, Nicholas Lali with Detroit. Nice. There you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Let's slide this out right here. This is a Jumbo Random Team 4 recap. Again, apologies for, for kind of going back and forth on this, but we finally had the case in hand officially, so that's why we just said, let's just break it today. There's the uh, Daniel Espino for Cleveland. Yeah, I don't think they're one per case anymore, Andy. I think they're more like, yeah, Will Christian might be more on track. Maybe one out of every four cases, possibly a little bit more. A lot of Domingue. That purple chrome Dominguez is great too. Greg B with that one. So great break for him. That was Jumbo Random Team 4. Thanks again for everyone's patience uh, and understanding on that back and forth bit there. But we finally got it done. Appreciate you getting in. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.